Welcome back, Antonio Wells here, Android Tap, Android App Reviews. Taking a look at a new app called pCloud. It offers easy online cloud storage for mobile devices and computers for accessing and syncing photos, music, videos, documents, and more. pCloud is one of the latest cloud storage apps to join the ranks of Dropbox, Box, SugarSync, and others. You can upload files like photos, music, videos, documents, and more, all made available across multiple devices. When creating an account, you get a generous offering of 10 gigabytes of free cloud storage, plus bonuses for free storage for referring friends and doing other tasks, which can total 20 gigabytes. Although I haven't tried it, pCloud claims there's no file size limits on uploads. If you do require more space, you can opt for a subscription pCloud Pro account of 100 or 300 gigabytes, or even up to one terabyte plan. At first login, you'll notice a few folders and sample files already organized for you. You can choose to use these or edit them how you feel. By tapping the adjacent plus button or long pressing a file or folder, you have options to send the link invitation, copy files, move files, delete them, add them to favorites, upload files, share and edit them. Creating folders is easy. Simply tap the Add button near the bottom for creating folders or uploading files. Additionally, you have options to sort folder contents with the button to the top right. The left menu reveals shortcuts to group all documents, photos, music videos, and more, including quick links to favorites, shared files and links, friends, and get a history of recent activity. You share with others by sending links to files and folders. An awesome feature is having offline access to those files that you marked as favorites. Plus, you can configure auto uploads to create a pseudo backup of your files. There are a few peeves that I do have with the mobile app, however. You cannot easily batch download files. You must send the link instead and download files individually. This is not the case on desktop. Also, I wish the image browser feature were handed off to the default gallery picker so you can browse by folder versus showing all images as it currently does. This becomes an issue for folks like myself that have a lot of images. You have to browse through a lot of photos to get to the ones you want. And it seems to show photo folders in a random order. It just makes it a little bit more difficult. I wish it had a folder browsing feature like its own file explorer. Though the issue with that method is that it does not show thumbnails of files. These are just a few areas that it can benefit from improvement. Otherwise, everything else about the app and service is great. Lastly, the web version of the app offers a few more features not available on mobile, and that is the drag and drop to upload widget, plus a new social backup feature. The latter allows you to back up photos from Facebook, Instagram, and Picasa on your pCloud account after given permission. So should you download pCloud? Yes. It's free to get started, and if you consume a lot of storage space, there are several ways of getting more free before you have to pay for any subscription plan. It's easy to use, well organized, syncs with phones, tablets, and computers. I highly recommend you give it a try. This has been Antonio Wells with Android Tap, the global leading media brand for Android app reviews, and I'm signing out. <laughs>forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like this, hit the thumbs up button and hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+.